and welcome to our presentation on our paper, How Much Does Student Perception of Course Attributes Impact Student Motivation? by Margot Vigent and Amy Golightly from Bucknell University. In collaboration with faculty colleagues, we surveyed students in a number of courses that contained or did not contain course attributes that we felt aligned with self-determination theory. Self-determination theory by Ryan and Desi holds that students will be more intrinsically motivated in a situation where they feel autonomy, experience competence, and also experience relatedness. Course attributes related to autonomy included the extent to which the course was voluntary, the extent to which the course included broad perspectives, and the extent to which multiple solution paths were available to students when they were solving class problems. Students' experience of competence was related to the extent to which they created a functioning product as part of the class. Finally, students' experience of relatedness was connected to two different areas. First, the extent to which students' work was interdisciplinary. That is, how much did they connect with students from disciplines other than their own during their work in this class? Also, it was connected to the extent to which students worked on real problems. Real problems were further defined as those problems that might be for a real client, might be like those the students expect to tackle in their own career, or problems that were personally meaningful to the students themselves. Our surveys found that students experienced greater intrinsic motivation and decreased A motivation when they were in a class that was voluntary, that was interdisciplinary, and where they encountered real problems according to all three definitions of real problem. We would like to share with you the actionable outcomes from this work. You probably can't change if your course is elective or not, but you can change the relatedness components of your course. Students' motivation was higher when students worked with real problems. That is, any problem they perceived to be real and less textbooky. To improve students' intrinsic motivation in your class, you might consider implementing one of these approaches to reality, such as having students work for a real client, having students reflect on how their work is personally meaningful, or have them think about how it is connected to their career. Finally, even if you can't make your course interdisciplinary, you can ask your students to talk to their friends and colleagues in other majors about the work they're doing in your course. By applying these tested approaches in your own class, you may be able to yield greater student intrinsic motivation about your classwork as well, and that will lead to more positive attitudes among the students, and possibly greater persistence in the major. Thanks for watching.